upon us. Uh, salmon fishing is, is, is coming to the Sacramento metro area. Um, it's been in the Bay Area for the past month, month and a half now, so a lot of those Bay Area cats out there have been able to, to hook them up <clears throat> just outside the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, good for them. Um, but starting to see some early reports of the salmon moving into the Sacramento area. So good news. They're coming local to me here. Um, so I'm going to start hitting them up pretty well um, after work on the weekends. Um, it is dove season right now, so got to let that dove season pass. And then I'll hit them real hard on the weekends. Um, but uh, salmon has always been very elusive to me. I've never caught one as a kid. Never caught one as an adult. I got real close once. Had a had a tailor had a, had a salmon tailing one of my lures once coming to shore. Um, but that's it. No bites. No catches. My dad's caught them in front of me, but haven't done it myself yet. Uh, my cousins tried nothing. Um, so it's been been an elusive fish. So maybe it's one of those fish that uh, what is it? A fist of ten thousand casts, right? It's gonna take you ten thousand casts to get that fish. Here we go. Starting off my uh, my uh, documentation, my record keeping right now. So we're at cast zero right now. Let's go ahead and get that on the books. This is my first recorded uh, salmon trip here. Let's go ahead and take all the childhood uh, memories off the board and start at zero. And see if we can't come up with a salmon or two this season. I'll be happy with just one this season. Never caught one, but my dad's got a boat. My buddy's got a boat. Um, I got a cousin with the boat. I'm doing shore fishing right now, so I mean, one of us has to get something this year. All right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna hit different locations, different baits, different people. Um, as you can see right now, it's a little bit orange glow out here. That's because we California's been stricken with some horrible fires. Shout out to our, our firefighters out there, California State Wildfires. Um, Appreciate you putting yourself in danger for us, keeping us safe, protecting our homes. Um, yeah, it's dangerous out there, so keep it up. Um, we'll do our best um, to stay out of your way. Um, but today, heading to downtown Sacramento. Uh, probably get there around 6.15ish, so that'll give me about an hour and a half of fish time, um, depending on sunlight. And of course the smoke's kind of obscuring the sun so that that's going to take some time away unfortunately uh, but it's not as bad here in the sacramento area as it is up the, in the auburn uh foothills placer county area it's pretty bad up there uh, but heading down to downtown do some salmon fishing the count is zero right now uh, no bets yet with any of the other foothill fishermen um, but we're all we're, we are all eager get our lines wet and pulling a salmon and my cousin went out the other day uh, pulled in a bass and this is my first attempt here so get in an hour and a half of uh, some fishing and see what happens with that. So, All right that ends day one of Sa Sacramento salmon and uh, no luck no luck a lot of grass out there deep in water to make sure I was getting deep in, in there. It's a big sand bank here at this park as you can see. I did see one salmon breach his head and whole body out between me and that buoy out there. And I had a kayaker tell me it's about 25 feet, 30 feet out there I think. And that there was a group of salmon chilling. Uh, probably just waiting, trying to make a decision which direction they're going to go. But I was casting, working this whole thing, letting my lure drift that way. No bites, no takers. Um, that guy didn't, the guy in the kayak didn't catch anything. But uh, yeah, definitely put it a try out here. It's pretty dark because of the, the ash in the sky, as you can see here behind me. It's pretty dark. That's all smoke out there, if you can believe that. It's not rain, it's not night. Uh, that's all smoke out there. Uh, I did do the math. I make about one cast every 40, uh, every 30 seconds is what I did, but then margin of error, I decided every 45 seconds I'm doing every cast. So I'll do the math of how much time I put out here and how many casts I did today and tally it up and I'll put it down there at the bottom right now. Uh, 
So yeah, this is one spot here. Pretty uh, open today. Five dollar parking here at this spot, FYI. But uh, we'll keep trying. We keep trying. I saw one out there. They're out there. I saw one out there. Have a good one. At least I caught two clams. I hope you could see that. I caught two clams. Didn't go empty handed. Just need a few more to fill the bucket. Uh, but I made my way there. Again, last time I was here, that buoy that the kayaker had indicated to me is down there. So straight ahead, if you follow my finger, you might see a blue light out there from a jet ski on the shoreline. But between the end of that sand bank, uh, sand bank and the jet ski, there's a buoy. And that's where they're kind of huddled up, kind of salmon trying to make a decision. Like your ex-girlfriend trying to figure out where to eat. I do see a dead crawdad if you're interested in that. You know who you are. You know who you are. You get the dead crawdad, my new girl gets the, gets the salmon. Old girl gets crawdad, new girl gets salmon. But those boats do go through, so I mean, there's gotta be a clear, clear cut channel. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you do not have any sort of allergies because that's a new Foothill Fisherman record. Three and one. Look at that. How am I supposed to set a hook? How am I supposed to set a hook? Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah. Goodbye. All right, now I can set a goddamn hook. The flying sea. Call it the flying clam. I think my technique beyond just hitting it hard and getting time on the water is every time I get out here for maybe a quick trip or I just only got a limited time, I'm only gonna slam it with one lure. Just hit it with one lure constantly, blah, 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 blah. One lure, don't even waste it. But if I do a full trip, if I'm able to get out for a full day, then I'll swap them out. Do a little swap to wop. Swap because we're able to cover a lot more water at that time. And we're able to cover a lot more lures too. Here we are, day three on the Sacramento River. We're here at a different point on the river today. We are about uh, five miles south of Freeport Bridge, a very popular spot. We we'll usually go to the other side over there between those two bushes, but we see a lot of people catch fish on this side too, so it's our first time getting on this side. There's my dad over there, Dr. Pop. How you doing, Dr. Pop? And there you go. What color is that? Red. Red. <laughs> Here we go. Get that net ready.
There we go. Yeah. Yep. Woo! There we go. There we go. Come and laugh, come and laugh. Oh. Come and right, come and right, Jake. Yep. Oh, no, 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 I think that's good where it is. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, I know. He's coming over there to the right, Jake. He's coming in, Jake. He's coming in, Jake. He's coming left. Yeah, it's my stringer. Don't worry about it. He's coming right again. He's coming right again. Coming right, Jake. He's coming at you. He's coming at you. He's coming at you. He's coming at you. Come on, Jake. Here he comes, Jake. Get him in there. Get him in there, Jake. Come on, Jake. No, no, Jake. Come, come on, Jake. Get him in there. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Get him in the net. Nice. Get him in the net. There we go. Jesus. Yeah. Hey. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> you got me <laughs> worried there, there Jacob. <laughs> he was laying over the top of it. You got me worried there for a second, Jake. <sighs> oh man. Keep him up here. I'll yeah. You got the stringer. Hold up. Hold out. him like this yeah. to keep him bucketed. You know. Right. <sighs> Big sucker. Oh my God. I think so. Oh yeah. All right. All right, we'll show this one to my dad. He'll be proud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I start doing my curls. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's got big ass teeth too. Yeah, dude. He'll bite your back. Wow. Yeah, he's a clean fish. Oh my God. There we go. There we go. I am up. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Way to play him, too. Yeah, really. Oh, my God. <laughs> you cut a hole right in here? Huh? No, no, I just yeah, put it right through his mouth. There you go. Ah. Woo! Hey, hold it up for a shot. Yep. That was on the Raven's lure. Yay. All right. Oh, uh, here's the guy here. That one all year now. <laughs> yep. Cut that on the Raven's lure. All right, I think we might be owing you some beer here, Tao. Yeah. Full season. Oh, Jesus. Yep. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> what a fish. <laughs> if, I could, I, if I could do it, man, that thing's you got it, you got it. sucker's heavy.
Sunday. Uh, beautiful weather right now. We're over here uh, just south of the Freeport Bridge and we're gonna be hitting the river here pretty soon. So I've been out probably about five, six times already. Was able to pull one salmon out of the water. Excellent, excellent. My dad still needs to pull his first salmon out of the water. Um, but today's a special day. We were able to get his boat out of the shop. So we will be launching today. I think it's called the Clarksburg Boat Launch. We'll be launching today to hit the river um, on the water instead of from the shoreline. Um, so we're going to be going north on the river, uh, hitting the American River Channel. Um, we're going to work the Sacramento River as well, too, um, and just have some fun with it. We've got some silver trons, we've got some flying seas, we've got some quick fish. Uh, we're just going to you know, try different things, different depths, different weights, and uh, um, just see what we could pull out. Um, it's a good time. The temperatures dropped pretty well, so fish are moving pretty good right now. Um, I went over to Nimbus Dam a couple weeks ago and they're pretty uh, bunched up right there So uh, no more fishing there um, like back in the day. Like uh, I remember going there during my childhood um, Wonderful conditions fishing next to some ham and eggers out there getting tangled up with every other person out there fighting for your fish Zombie fish going between your feet um, I was able to go over there and I, I took some pictures and but the salmon are bunched up there so you know they're running up the American, which means they gotta go through the sack. So we're gonna see what we can do. It's gonna be a good day. Um, waiting for my dad to pull up here with the boat in the next uh, 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes or so. Um, so tune in, pretty soon we'll be on the water. See you soon.